Megan here. How's it going? Um, I'm live despite my technical um, lack of savvy. I pushed the right buttons and I am actually live. So huzzah, Bill. Good to see you. you uh, you're the first person here always. Hi, I'm going to see who else is here. Hi, Anime Life Fiore Neko. Uh, 13 Bistuna. I know you. Tiger Wolf Phantom. Hi. Sketch Do. I'd love to see your stuff. Anime Life. Talk of the town. Hey, Megan. Hey, Tiger Wolf Phantom. Um, Jennifer. Hello. Hell's Paw. Paw and Kale. Hell's Spawn. Hell's Spawn. Kale? They don't really. Kale does not go with Hell's Spawn. Good evening, most beautiful voice of most beautiful Valkyrie. What a nice thing to say. It makes me want to pull up my Valkyrie art. Um, this is Lenneth from Valkyrie Profile, um, one of the coolest games I had the pr pleasure of voicing. And um, a fan told me, and I haven't looked into this myself, but that they're re-releasing that original game. I hope that's true. I know they redid it, but um, the original is the best. Hi, 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 how are you? Um, I am just noticing that you can totally see my um, janky booth. Uh, it's huge. It's not huge, but it's so heavy. And so when we moved from LA to Nashville, my husband was like, screw it, I'm not putting all those screws in again. And so he just wrapped it with um, this thing. And so, um, and you can also see the janky ceiling of my basement. So nothing fancy happening here, except that I put on makeup. So that's as fancy as I'm gonna get today. It's true, it's coming in December for consoles. Do, 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 do. What a great Christmas gift. I saw Ronnie this month. I love Shion Sonozaki, right? Oh gosh, that's one thing I don't have art of yet. I love the girls from Higurashi. Here they are up here. Um, the only challenge with this print is that the the art is actually from the manga instead of the um, series. But Megan, hi from Texas. I want to tell you, thank you for being part of my childhood. I have had the privilege of being a part of a lot of childhoods. Um, yeah, folks have now grown up with Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And now I meet kids and even grandkids who are watching it. And I'm a small part of the... Oh, sorry, I paused. Poor connection. Um technology happens. You can also hear my dog barking in the background. He can hear me talking and is confused. I hope you come back to Texas. You know, I really want to come back to Texas and I am at some time in 23. Um, but at the moment, oh yeah, I'm going to be in Corpus Christi, uh, in February and there's another one coming up as well, but I don't have all the details. Hey, Hey LJ. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Bill, for saying hello to Yogi. I'm sure he appreciates that. Oh, it's super you get to uh, reprise your characters in Bleach. Tell me about it. Um, so Bleach, the 10,000 Year Blood War, is now airing. Uh, the first voice I got to do was Apache. And, uh, and she's awesome. She is super awesome and loud and mean. Uh, so that was a real thrill. And then I was afraid Rangiku wasn't coming back, but you can barely see her in the opening um, theme. And then uh, she's coming back I'm gonna, in, in maybe next week. Can't say for sure. I don't have a ton of lines. I don't care. I just want to be a part of this awesome series. Um, I'll be there so we can get a photo. Let's do it. Um, bleach isn't bleach without Rangiku. Well, you know what? That's what I like to say. Um, yeah, she's certainly, she is certainly something. Adam met Lisa Ortiz and Eric Stewart and Tara Sands, and you cosplay Joey Wheeler. That's so cool. So, uh, Adam is a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Um, I'm just holding up pictures because I'm trying to do something visual. Uh, here's my Valentine. Yay. And uh, the next time I work with Green, Wayne Grayson, uh, 
who's, uh, as you may or may not know, the voice of Joey in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! We are going to have a, um, a picture of the, the two characters together. I offered that around Valentine's Day, and uh, we'll be bringing it back. Hello, Jen. Good to see you. Um, I met Tara Sands at New York Comic Con this year. I want to go to New York Comic Con. I haven't been to New York in ages. That is um, where uh, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! were first recorded back in the day. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is still being recorded there. Um, and it was my home for many, many happy years. And I became uh, friends with everyone involved in Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh!, particularly Tara Sands and Lisa Ortiz, who I remained really close to. Can you say hi to me as Shion? Ooh, I, I remember Mion, and I think Shion was the similar a similar one. Hi, and now I've missed your name, so I don't even know who to say hi to. For Mion, every time I came back, they would play a track of me talking to kids in the school saying, and we're not gonna play anything lame like house. Um, I'm pretty sure, you can correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, Mion carried a gun <laughs> to school. Actually, it's not funny anymore. That's pretty horrible, but um, it was quite odd at the time. Um, I also, in Sonozaki, I may have told the story before, I didn't know it was horror until it became horrific. Um, and I looked at the director and I said, you could have warned a girl, uh, but it, it was okay. I, I think that's the only horror I've done and it scared me. Can I have an early happy birthday and shout out as my Valentine? Happy birthday, Adam. The only reason I duel is to challenge worthy opponents like you. Oh, good. Love for Shion. That, that makes me feel so good. Do you ever get recognized much for being Rael? Love, Ergo Proxy. Yes. Um, I mean, not, not a lot, but um, people who are fans are fans. You know who you are. So uh, let me show you my, my new, you know, I'm super excited because I got some new prints based on things that people like and I can't find it right now. I feel, I'm like, mm, I'm taking the elevator down. I'll be back in a second. Nope, I don't have it. I am super disorganized and I had uh, planned on recruiting Yogi to be my assistant, but he's not really into it. I met you in the cast of Pokemon Sans Michael Hagney three years ago at Game On Expo. That was so fun. That was one of the first times we were all together. And I love Arizona. I um, I just think it's really cool there. Hello to Sebastian and Apache voice. Sebastian, you rule! Uh, thank you. Can't wait to see you in Texas. My favorite Higurashi twin is Shion, and my sister's favorite is Mion. Oh, perfect. Please don't act it out. How's the weather in glorious LA? Well, here's the thing. I moved, so I'm sure it's glorious in LA. Um, I'm now in Nashville. Um, I, I, during, as so many of us, during the pandemic, um, I learned to work from home. I acquired um, Space Booth, I was gonna say 2000. Let's call it Space Booth 3000. And uh, I figured I could work anyway. So my husband got offered a job that he loves, it's perfect for him. And we said, okay. And I miss my friends and I love LA. And, uh, but you know, getting used to a new place is hard. I, I say give it two years and um, making friends slowly, little by little. Interesting fact about Mai is that in Japan, her last name isn't Valentine, but Kujaku, which is Japanese word for peacock. <gasps> that is an interesting fact, I love that. My peacock. Interesting, but I like it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? That's my Rangiku voice for strong Rangiku. And then when she goes to the land of the living, it's, how's it going? Let's go shopping. Hello, Megan. You're an absolute gem. Back at you, Cloud. I missed your, I missed the name. I loved your voice in Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you. Um, I started to say what a privilege it was to work on those shows and for people just to have been so influenced by them. Um, yeah, for me, it's just a pleasure to be a part of the Pokemon phenomenon, which is, which I'm a small part of, you know, um, it's really, it's the show, it's the voice actors, but it's the community, you know, without, uh, 
an awesome audience, then it wouldn't be what it is. So pew, back at you. Um, JT Nick 16, I'm not gonna, I'm not um, admitting anybody to the live video uh, just because, because uh, uh, I don't know how to do it. I don't know what, what happened. Please attend Comic-Con 2023. All right, I will follow them. Um, if you are so kind and, and gracious enough to want me to come to your town, tell the Comic-Con, tell them that um, me or whoever you wanna see. That's the best way to do it. Actors don't get to decide where we go. I mean, I'll, I'll write to people and be like, hey, can I come to your show? But um, that doesn't always work. <laughs> so, so ask your show. I really feel your voice is my really brought the character to life in a genuine and sincere way. It feels alive. Hey, that's, um, I, I can't ask for a higher compliment. That's my job as an actor. And, um, you know, I'll admit it doesn't always work. Like sometimes I don't relate to the character rarely, but like, you know what it is? It's when it's a small character and I don't have time to get in sync with them. Um, but, but that doesn't always happen. If I can, if I see the face and I get it, then it happens fast. And Mai was definitely one of them. She was there as soon as I saw her. Uh, still waiting for something, someone said. Could you send that again if it's something I can help with? Um, I know I did a Valentine's Day signing for Streamily and it got complicated because I was signing with other characters who weren't in the same city, state. Most were in the same country. Um, and so orders did not... Dang, I, my connection keeps pausing, my bad. Uh, anyway, Valentine orders did not get filled promptly. So if you still don't have it, or, or if you got something that wasn't right, um, send me a, a message on Instagram and I will fix it. My Valentine is the best woman in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, take that, T. Taya, but I thought it was funny to call her T. Uh, what's it like to start practicing voice acting. So here, if you want to get into the business, start by acting because voice acting is not different from acting only insofar as um, you have a smaller range of tools to work with. First you act. And then um, I was doing this with my kids uh, and I forgot that it's such a good practice. Read children's books and try to give each character a different voice and act it out. Um, and that even might be the beginning of a demo if you're looking for that. Hey, I hope you will come to a convention near me sometime. Like I said, ask them. Hey, Abby, how are you? Hi, Megan. Nice to see you again. I was the blue haired guy from Action Arcade at NecoCon. Good to see you. Um, hi, Megan. How are you? I'm doing good. Hey, I'm here hanging out with you guys. Like what could be better? LOL, hi, queen. It was just me saying that I'm still waiting for you to do New York Con, yes, and maybe shenanigans with Erica, LOL. So Erica, um, Erica Schroeder, awesome woman, is the current voice of my Valentine. I left New York in a year that I can't remember, and I think it was the, I'm not gonna guess, uh, a few seasons into Yu-Gi-Oh! And I moved and uh, couldn't record from the other coast back then. No big deal. I mean, I was sad, but no big deal. Erica Schroeder ably took over the role. She's fantastic. And so, um, we have met, uh, and we planned a whole benefit together for, uh, cause she also played Nurse Joy. So we were like Nurse Joy's cure COVID. Um, and, uh, we did a convention together. So we got to be two, two, two Mys in one. Uh, and she's an awesome person. So Jen was uh, referring to that. She and and Jennifer came in cosplay. So we were just like, uh, there was a my palooza. You look nice today. Thank you. I like your earrings and your shirt. That's so nice of you. This shirt is um, says bird watching goes both way. Birds are real. And it cracks me up. It's an imaginary conspiracy theory. Um, where they claim that birds have all been replaced by robots. And what's awesome about it is it turns conspiracy theories on their heads and makes you really look at stuff. Um, Harley, how are you, diva? Um, love your face. I love your face forever. I loved you as mine. No offense to Erica. Hey, you know, um, thanks. 
uh, Maya is the best harpy lady forever. Harpy ladies, right? Could I still get something right now? Yeah. Today's my birthday and this would make my day. Happy, happy birthday. Can I tag you in my Shion cosplay? Yes, you can. I would love to see that. Have you done any Pokemon noises? Like the little Pokemon? Mm, I did some Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout. Bell Sprout. And I'm still, as far as I know, people come and go. Um, I am still the voice of my Pekka, my Pekka. Mabego. And by the way, you know, I never got cast as as the the Pokemon themselves when I was originally doing the show. And I always thought, oh, this would be so cool, you know, because I would listen, I would watch and listen and be like, oh man, it'd be so much fun to just go, Baba, Silla, Baba, Baba. Terrible impression. Don't tell Tara. Um, or 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 just Pikachu. Pika, Pika. I was like, how fun would that be? Well, guess what? It's super hard because you got to match these little characters' mouths, and it's harder than in uh, regular uh, dialogue replacement because nobody writes it. I mean, if they write anything, they write more peco, more peco, more peco. And so you got to watch and be like, okay, you know, and there'll be a, they let you know when to start, but then it's all just visual. So, I mean, I'm probably just complaining because I haven't developed those muscles yet. But, uh, and I'm not really complaining. I'm just like, oh, all these years, I didn't know how hard it was. <gasps> in Spain, uh, hola, uh, left in English. I missed most of that, but did you have to watch it in English in Spain? Um, more Peco needs more screen time, you know, from your lips to God's ears. That's what I have to say to that. Um, the other character I wished had more screen time while I was voicing her was Cassidy. I loved doing Cassidy. Um, she was, uh, they told me to kind of sound like Rachel who was doing Jesse, but not really. I'm like, huh, thanks. That helps. So I sort of did Jesse, who in my voice sounds like my, but then I'd been watching um, 1940s movies like Rosalind Russell, his gal Friday. Totally awesome. Oh, and anybody who wants to do voiceovers, go back to, to old movies and old TV shows and imitate some of those characters. No one will know. Um, anywho, so Rosalind Russell talks like this. Hey, doll, say, is it blah, blah, blah? Um, so I added a little of that to Cassidy. Hey, hey, Jesse, hey, James, how are you? Oh, Abby loves Cassidy's voice. Thank you. Cassidy's my favorite Team Rocket member. Yes, Jennifer, I knew that. I mean, I didn't know that, but it makes sense. Upcoming projects you can tell us about. You know, I'm not even going to be coy. Uh, just a lot of little tiny things. And mostly games. Um, and uh, I couldn't tell you if I wanted to because I literally don't know the names of the games. They make up fake names for the contracts. So, like, uh, I do the work and then... Um, you know, uh, six months, uh, years later, a, a game comes out. And um, one of them was Fire Emblem, right? So someone said, are you in Fire Emblem? And I'm like, no, never heard of it. Um, but it turned out I was because they probably called it something like Apple Tree. And, um, you know, I did the work and moved on and was told I couldn't talk about it. But how could I? Because I don't know what it is. And then it comes out. And I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, that, that. That's, that's me. So, um, thank you for the compliment on my 40s voice. It's been a while. I was happy with the Pokemon games on Game Boy. Yeah, totally. And what's the thing people have taught me that you press A, something escape A, to get past Nurse Joy to make it go faster. I will definitely cast you in my show one day. Thank you. Yes, you are right, Sebastian. Any air conditioning while doing the voice recordings? It depends on where you are. Um... I heard a story about Tara Sands recording once in the valley with absolutely no air conditioning. My booth has a little hole in it with a vent and um, it has gotten quite hot, but uh, it's in an air conditioned room. So the, while the booth isn't air conditioned, the room is. Uh, do you think Harvey Lady could destroy most of the Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know, but I'd like to see that battle. 
Yu-Gi-Oh! I watched in Spanish, but since GX season two, I switched to the English because they stopped dubbing it here. Why would they do that? I heard that um, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War isn't dubbed in other languages yet. I hope I hope they do. That seems like a good idea to me. Although again, I've said this before. And sorry, poor connection. Um, it's not called show show. It's called show business. So we have to wait for people who want to make money off these things before they get off the ground. Uh, literally watching Rangiku fighting. I don't know what, but I love it. Do you have any anecdote of recording for Valkyrie Profile? Leneth is the best. I wish I did. Um, I do. I remember very little because it was so long ago. I just remember being really proud of it and very strong. Um, that's where I got real strength as an actor. How come you don't ask Cassidy as your character on Streamily? You know what? I totally should. I do have um, cards. I have Pokemon trading cards of Cassidy and I will, um, I'll put them up after this. If, if, uh, anybody wants one, they're super cute. I really like them. Hi. Hi, C Brown 92. Uh, so you know what? Speaking of Streamily store, I should sign something. I will go to the computer. The phone could fall at any moment, but I want to be able to see while I do this. Um, so let us start with Damon. Um, Damon would like the pinup Nurse Joy, which I should have right here. So this image, I absolutely adore. Um, an artist named Chris Delara did this. She is crazy talented. She paints in oils. And I found this online and I tracked her down and I said, can, can I please use this? Can I please offer it? And when we made a deal, so like, you know, it's really important to me not to use other people's art. I hope that goes without saying. And, um, and now I get to use it. And I, I love to give her credit if um, she's at www.delara.ca if you wanna see more stuff. She actually did one of Jesse and I think Misty as well. Um, so if you look up her work, you can see those. They're they're really spectacular. So Damon says, uh, would it be all right if you get out a quote? I would be happy to. I'm wondering if the quote can be, we hope to see you again. We hope to see you again soon. How, why would a nurse ever say that? Um, I guess it would be weird if she said, I hope I never see you again. So this is to Damon. And we hope to see you again. Uh, my voice is a little deep today. Let's try that again. Next time use the driveway. We hope to see you again. And uh, I'm not sure if I said this before, but my Streamily store is still open. So you can always buy something if you want. Um, but I'm really just here to hang out. Uh, and then I got something for Chad that's next, but we have some time. Cute, says Kari. Kari, I bet. Um, Pokemon emergency episode. Yes, well, my that was my very first episode. Next time use the driveway. I could say it all day. It will never, I will never forget it. In my 30s, I still watch the show hard to let go of my childhood memories. Whew. Oh, I still watch the show. New thought, hard to let go of my childhood memories. Um, I know there are people who who want to let go of their childhood memories. And I also know that um, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! has gotten a lot of people through some challenging times. Oh yeah, have you seen the new Higurashi show yet? No, I have not. Um, I heard it's very good. Um, and I would like to see it, I'm just curious. Sorry about the poor connection. Hello, Megan. I met you at Huntington Con in June. We talked about Pokemon, et cetera. Well, it was very good to talk to you again on, on this sort of weird way. I still duel. Wonderful. 
Hi, Megan. Will you tell all the cast members from all the seasons of Pokemon and all the cast members from the Pokemon movies that I am a fan of them for me, please? Pokemon means so much to me. Thank you, and I'll tell everyone I can. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I went through depression and anxiety, and Pokemon helped. I, I, again, how um, it's so humbling to be a part of something like that, and I and I hope it means something to all of you who genuinely were a part of it as well. Gotta go for now. Bye, sweet Jen. The connection is horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Have you heard that Ash won? Yes. My name is Tim. All right, Tim, I will tell everyone that you send your kudos. Okay, this is for Chad. And this is my character comp. It has as many characters as, um, ooh, little ring light action there. That's fun. It has uh, a lot of my characters, but I was recently um, told that it doesn't have... Rose Garcia from Sonic X. And you know who else is Captain Iruma from... Someone's going to remember. Um, big Japanese robot from the past. Anyway, I'll think of it when I'm not trying to think of it. But I played the captain, and it was the most Star Trek-like thing I'd ever done, and I loved it! Chad is actually asking for a quote from Megan. Chad, if you're there, who's your favorite character? That would help me. Um, um, hi, Miggy. <clears throat> Thank you for your awesome cameo. I am on cameo as well. Um, they are fabulous. I'm so happy to hear that. Welcome, fresh picked. Fresh Prince. <laughs> You know, I can't read all these because I'm not that brilliant. For us, Prince Cody. Hi, Fresh Prince Cody. Love for Xi'an. Can you tell me happy birthday as Xi'an because it's tomorrow? I'm sorry I ask a lot of questions. You, no problem. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day tomorrow and ask all the questions you want. The video you did for me at the Bradenton Convention encourages me when I duel. Wow. Brandonton, sorry. Um, that means a lot to me. I got my cameo from Megan. She's a darling. Hey, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Meows of doom. Chad is acting weird. I think it's my fault. Um, I think it's my internet connection. It says I have bars, but I think it's a lie. I am in a basement. Um, I'm so sorry. Meows. Uh, glad you liked it. Love for Xion. Can you please say high fashion for harpy lady? High fashion for Harpy Lady, Cyber Shield. Ha <laughs> ha. Speaking of birthdays, my cousin's baby was born on Thanksgiving. Well, I hope they didn't name it Turkey. Uh, no, that's awful. Um, congratulations. It's a beautiful thing. I got to meet you twice in the past year, both times. Amazing. That's awesome. I don't recognize your handle, um, but I'm, I'm so glad. I'm glad we got to connect. I intend to visit the Nashville area next summer. So next summer, I believe I will be at both Smoky Mountain Fan Fest, which is in um, a place near Dollywood. So it's apparently a big tourist place, but it's in a beautiful setting. So I'm super excited to go there. And I think I'm also going to be at Nashville Comic something. Maybe it's just called Nashville Comic Con at uh, in early June. A shout out is my... Of course, Kari. Have a great day. Rangiku's my favorite Bleach character. She's amazing. Yeah, uh, mine too. She is just, um, you know, she and Mai are both super proud of who they are. And that's, um, that's not easy for any of us humans, right? Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, sometimes I have to look in the mirror and say, I love you because I don't want to. Right? And that's blah. Okay, both in Nashville. Music City. We did a video. Arr, I hate these go too fast. Which Nashville? Nashville, Tennessee. Do you duel at all like you play Yu-Gi-Oh! No. And I think I'm not that into games, and I think 
um, I've joked about this before, but I think it's true that I gamble with my life as an actor. <laughs> so I gamble with my career. I don't, I don't know. Playing games make me, makes me nervous. I love you, Megan. Thank you, Michael David TV. I've been Pigeon Forge and Dollywood. It's amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm going to, I'm going to try to spend at least one extra day there just exploring. I want to go to Dollywood, you know, in Nashville, uh, I learned you can get a Dolly Parton license plate and, um, I, uh, I'm a hundred percent getting that because that's the best reason. Adiami from Gurren Lagann. I wish I could. I, you know, uh, uh, I forgot what her voice sounds like. I will look it up. I promise. Earrings look great on you. Thank you. I don't always wear earrings. Um, I don't always wear jewelry, but it's fun. Please, please, please come to NYC. You know, I would love to. Um, you have to ask the con. My, I, I have very little say. I could just show up, but... Um, virtual hug. Yeah, you can have a virtual hug. I could probably send you that little emoji too, but it's beyond my... Um, abilities at the moment. Under I apologize again about the connection. For what it's worth, I'm proud of you and you hard work. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Have you guys seen the um, the woman who does reels? And she always says, uh, "Keep it up, cutie. I'm so proud of you." I just want to say that to all y'all because it makes me feel so good. Keep it up, cutie. I'm so proud of you. Harpies or Amazon S, which is the best my archetop? I, I, I'm, I'm sticking with Harpies. I freaking love the Harpies. What's your favorite Pokemon theme song? The first one. I want to be the very best. I hope you can come to DC Comic Con. That would be a blast. Uh, I love Washington, DC, and I would love to spend time there. All their phone lines are going to blow up with us telling them you need to be at NYC Con. Yeah, blow up those phone lines. Um... I would love to. Hello, waivers. So I haven't heard from Chad as to which is his favorite character, so I don't know what quote to put on there. So I'm going to set that aside. Chad, if uh, put in the uh, chat um, something like, it's me, it's me, and uh, then I can come up with a good quote. This is for Luis. Quote in purple marker. Okay. Totally. I can totally do this. Nobody panic. I have purple. I just have to make sure it works. I'm going to go to my office just for a minute. Mm. Testing the purple marker. Here we go. It works. Elevator up to Louise. And he wants a specific quote, which I'm happy to do. It says, sorry, Wheeler, it's too late now. My fates have already been sealed and so have yours. All right. I can do that. I love that. This looks really good in purple, by the way. Um, sorry, Wheeler. It's too late now. My fate, my fate's already been sealed. You know what, Louise, I'm going to do this over. Sorry for taking up everybody's time, but um, I got too close to the margin. So to Louise, I hate wasting prints, but I also want to get this right, you know? Um, sorry, Wheeler. It's too late now. My fate's already been sealed. And so has yours. That's super cool. And this, I love this color with my, this is actually, I realized it's not purple, it's magenta. I hope that's okay, Louise. But it's actually one of my favorite colors, so for what that's worth. And now, 
I will put my name on it because that's why I'm here. My. Okay, Luis, this is coming your way. Dun, da, da, da. I hope that brings you, I hope that brings you some joy. That's, that's super cool. I love doing this. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, wait, let's see. See who else is here. Can you say hi to me as my Valentine, please? Hi, David. Can you give me a shout out as Nurse Joy, please? Hi, Kari. Your Pokemon will be just fine. And in the end, you definitely regretted it at the end. Yes. Magenta is reddish purple. Yes, it is. I'm currently watching Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Is my in it at all? I don't know if you spoil a bit. <laughs> I can't spoil. I don't know what's going on. Can we be friends, Shion? Y yeah, um, I think we are. Uh, let's go to, I don't know who asked for this, so I'm just going to give it a signature. But this is, hey, another piece of art like by a really cool artist. So I love, I love, I, I just love artists. I, I love people. I love fan art. I love people who are just so talented. It's a skill I don't have, but I super appreciate. So, uh, oh, and this is another one. This is by Victor A. Um, I found him on, what's that thing called? Deviant Art. And I loved this piece. And again, I we worked out a deal. I asked him if I could use it. And he said, yes. Um, where is my wife? Found my white pen. Yo, what's up, Megan? Hi, Wolf Hawk. Uh, it's me, Wolf Black Hawkfield, in the house. <laughs> I don't know. I missed the end of that, but I, I love your enthusiasm, which I can read because it's in all caps. Good use of all caps. Um, where am I going to test this paint pen? Stand by, please. Oh, back to my office. Uh, that's harder than it should be. Uh, so I am just going to sign my name on this beautiful piece of art. Try not to mess it up too much. Uh, I'm going to write all of my best. Okay, cool. That is going out. I actually really like the white you can see that the white signature on the black paper and these harpies are hot um, even if they are in the American version of their costumes so the, setting that aside hey I see one from Marshall Marshall are you here uh, let's see I did a Seto Kaiba cosplay this Halloween That's so awesome I believe in Lenneth supremacy so do I have you ever considered doing TikTok live? You know, I have considered it and it scares the pants off of me. Um, I'm trying to get my kids to do it. You know, like if you do it, I'll do it. But um, yeah, I stand Elizabeth Conway supremacy. Cool. Right here, Megan. Okay. Can you do Dr. Ellen from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, I can and barely. Uh, get me those monsters. Was there a sister? Parker! Parker, get over here now! Get them! So, okay. Uh, she is supposed to be Australian. I, all voice actors should have things in their repertoire. I did not have an Australian accent. I can still get through like a couple lines without it turning into something else. But, um, unlike most of the anime we did at Four Kids at the time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a... Uh, group recording and it was all new it was animated to our voices so um, and I wasn't in it very often so I got called in and I was super nervous and literally at the moment I'm in there they're like she's Australian and I'm like well, uh, <laughs> okay and they said can you do Australian and I think it was Michael Center Nicholas who got me going he just and, and he I wasn't like someone help me because I have a hard time asking for help, which is a character defect. But um, he just started doing one to sort of play with me. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Um, but I couldn't keep it. So by the end of the show, if anybody happens to go back and listen to it, I sound cockney. Um, Parker, go 
get me those tur oh that sounded Australian. See, I'm not good at this except for Russian. I do very good Russian. It's easy for me, I don't know why. Uh Pokemon and TMNT were on separate networks at the same time. That I didn't know that actually. <laughs> um but we recorded them both at four kids. Yo, me too, dogs. I love you. I absolutely love you. Such a childhood show. Yeah, I'm so glad. Australia would love to have you. <laughs> I would probably not do that terrible impression while I was there. Where's Valen? I, I don't know. Um, you rock every character. That is very sweet. Meows of Doom. I like your handle. Uh, me too. It was my childhood here in Serbia. Greeting. Wow. Greetings from Serbia. So you listen to the shows in English? Question mark. Watching from Tars. Oh, Tanzania. <laughs> Tan I'm sorry, Tanzania. Um, I thought you. I thought you were saying Tarzana, which is a, a neighborhood in the valley. Tanzania is much cooler. You can officially judge my accent. Um, actually, don't don't officially judge it. Just pretend it never happened. Wait, I'm going to get my sister to join this live. Awesome. Just don't pull each other's fingernails out. Ah, oh, thanks, Megan. You're welcome. I wish Harpy Ladies would get support in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. And Argentina. Wow, this is fan-freaking-tastic. It's crazy what you four kids voice actors did. And it's, it, I didn't know that it, uh, excuse my ignorance, I didn't know that it went all over the world. How are your kids doing, by the way? They're crazy. <laughs> They're good. They still don't, um, they remain unimpressed with my work, <laughs> which is probably a very good thing. Um, and they're probably not happy right now because they're not allowed to watch TV or do anything streaming while I do this. And even that, the connection's not great. So let me sign something for Marshall. And Marshall, add a Rangiku quote of her being a playful tease. Yes. There's so many good ones. I don't have one off the top of my head. I watched in my home language, yes, but I've recently started a rewatch of it. Okay, that makes a ton of sense. Um, what would Rangiku say? Some of the Rangiku things I remember are, um, I'd have to paraphrase, but uh, remember when she, she said something to the captain uh, like, Captain, I can't believe you almost let me fell asleep on my back. My boobs would have suffocated me. Uh, and then another time, all I remember, booby buckets. For some reason, there was a beach episode. I think that's an anime trope. And um, they were trying to carry, carry sand in their boobies. They called them booby buckets. It's not a real thing. Um, can you please say... Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Do you remember being on Ultimate Muscle? Yes, I do. Um, and I thought I was Trixie, but Lisa Ortiz was like, no, I was Trixie. I was like, oh, right. Um, but I do remember it. That show is hilarious. And I think Eric Stewart told me it was like a bet. Someone said, can you... Oh, no, I... no I'm not telling the story right. But it's funny and bizarre, and I thought it was excellent. Gotta go. Good night. Good night. Sarah, hi. How awesome that you're here. Welcome. Yo, anyway, I got bounced, Megan, so I will support you and your live stream. Sorry, team. Bad connection. Mark Thompson was great as Kid Muscle. Totally. There's a theory that Yugi cheated in Yu-Gi-Oh. What's your opinion? Never. I, I don't believe it. Um, my favorite theory is about Pokemon, and it's that Nurse Joy is herself a Pokemon. What is not to love about that idea? It explains everything. Sarah says, hi, I didn't mean to interrupt. You, girl, are never interrupting. It's it's great to see you. May I sign something for you? JK. Do you recall being on Cubix? I do. I don't remember what I did, though. Was Cubix the one where they all moved really weird? Like, it was one of the first... Uh, uh, which we call it computerized animation. It might be something else. Mion, hi Mion. Um, Mion, 
the the line I, I remember the most from that because I had to say it over and over was we're not gonna play anything lame like house um that was fun it had robots okay so I got cubics all wrong but I did autocorrect is indeed weird it's cuckoo crazy in fact Ash what are you doing here besides surprising us well <laughs> she's obviously come here for my autograph <laughs> I don't think we need to ask twice kidding kidding um, let me sign this for Marshall. Okay, we never thought of a Rangiku quote. Um, I was crowdsourcing that. Rangiku, Captain! I said that enough times, but then what? In fact, funny fact, uh, in A Thousand Year Blood Warm, that's kind of all I say. I have, uh, uh, I say Captain twice, and I go, <laughs> A couple times and then I have a huge long paragraph with many Japanese words I didn't know how to pronounce. Classic VO section. It was done in Korea. Was that Cubics? Yes. In 2003 TMNT was animated in South Korea. I did not know that. Good to know. Have you watched the new Bleach anime? Yes. Yes. That's how I know these things. Um, and I like it. Can you do Shizune from Naruto? I um, Shizune is awesome. I totally relate. I was a personal assistant for years and it is just like that. It's not. Um, I mean, it could be for some people. That wasn't my experience. It was weird in other ways, but, um, as a person, I relate to trying to be the sane one who gets things done. Not always a great role to play. <laughs> You could tell Eric Stewart that I love Kaiba and ask him if he's going to any events in Florida. I can do that for you. I think he's doing the Collecticon shows and I think they are going to Florida. I just don't know when. Me too. Okay, Kari, you too. Absolutely. Um, Eric also lives near Nashville, in Nashville, essentially. Um, but I don't see him off enough. Elizabeth Conway from Time Crisis 4. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry you're depressed. And I I wish I could do something to make your day besides Elizabeth Conway because I would have to uh, look her up. It's It's been too long. But now I have two things to look up. Um, Adian, I need a piece of paper. Wait, I don't think I have to go all the way to my office. Um... Oh, I'll type it. Ha. I'm sorry, you guys have to see this. It's embarrassing. I need a Shizune to take care of things for me. So, Adian from Gurren Lagan and Elizabeth Conway. Doesn't that sound like a name that would be mine? Uh, from Time Crisis. So, you know, I'll look them up and I'll try to do something on Instagram that won't get me sued. Do you know where in Florida? I don't. Somehow I got kicked out. I think it was my connection. You know what? It it could be my fault, and I'm really sorry. Beletta New from Code Geass would be Geass would be nice enough. We can't do it either. Um, Valletta was very much like my Valentine, but I need some quotes. Ezra Weiss. Well, hello, sir. You want an autograph too? I'll see what I can do. <gasps> New York's Yugi Moto. That's a great handle. Gotta go. Catch you later. Ciao. And Kari says, Ezra, how are you? We'd love to know. Do you know when you'll be coming back to Michigan? No. I have been at two shows in Michigan this year, and I freaking loved them both. I had such a good time. I also, um, I really want to come back because I got uh, good local products. Cherry Jam. It's time to duel. Uh, no, no, it wasn't your fault. It was my connection in my room. Okay, good. So we're both having connection issues. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Connection happens. Who's got a Rangiku quote? Now it's, um, start with that. Oh, I know. Of course, what does she say all the time? Roar! Heineko! Going back to my office. I need... Peachy Rangiku. I have uh, two Rangiku prints. And my assistant didn't get anything out today. 
Um, you know, since my assistant is my dog, it's not surprising. Um, I think I pulled out a Valkyrie profile instead because it's also peachy. Oh, I also, you know what? Next time I'm around with the Pokemon peeps, how beautiful is this? Um, Veronica Taylor's daughter put this together for all of us. So when we travel together, there's one comp. But that is not Rangiku. No, it is not. I might have to have one of my kids go find it. I thought I brought everything. Here, here's a pile of prints if anybody wants to help me go through this. Um, in the meantime, hello again. I remember meeting you at Lansing Comic Con. That was one of them. That's where I got the cherry jam. This is a little embarrassing. But just a little. I've done worse. Okay, here we go. Here's the box of prints that has everything in it. Except the one I need. I have a different Rangiku. I have this one. But the one with the peach background is a new one and it shows her full glorious body. I think. Maybe I'm getting that wrong too. Here's my Ergo Proxy print. Someone asked about Ergo Proxy. I love how cinematic that show is. It's just the, um, the drawings are just like no other. You know what? I have to apologize to Marshall. I don't have the right print in front of me, but I'll sign it later. Maybe when I have a better connection. Um, kind of embarrassing. It's all right. I'll go back to reading what you guys have written. What's your favorite thing about working with directors in the industry as an actor when you collaborate on projects? Well, number one, working by myself so much now in this little booth trying to do auditions, I just want to talk to somebody. <laughs> I just want somebody to talk to. Um, but a good director is just like so necessary for the work we do. Um, there's no point of reference without a director. Um, sometimes you can watch the original Japanese or the, the OJ um, and get an idea, but you put it into English and, and imitation is not going to cut it. Also, that's not good acting. So like a director like um, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, who directed Naruto, she, uh, she was the best at catching me when I went into like autopilot. If I just started being silly or rote or whatever, she was the best at getting me to remember the stakes. You know, she'd be like, this is an intense battle. And she would go into it and she would never tell me how to say it, but when she was so good like that, I could act with her, which is, oh my gosh, such a gift. Um, other directors like Lisa um, make me feel so comfortable and she helps me find my place all the time. And she says such nice things. She'll be like, okay, that was wonderful, but not what we're going for. And, uh, it just, and then we laugh really hard. I'm like, no problem, I can do that. What are you thankful for on Thanksgiving? Ugh. You're thankful for your family. I am so thankful for my family as well. Um, I'm thankful to get to do this today and talk to awesome people. Um, I'm thankful for the uh, traveling I get to do because of this job. And the, I, I have said this before, but it's so true. I am so humbled and so eternally grateful to have been part of the community that um, makes Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and all these shows what they are because they are nothing, absolute zip without an audience. You, you guys are part of it, as big a part as anything. Um, have you met Olivia Hack? Yes, she's a trip and so gorgeous. Just, yeah, love her. I am thankful to be part of your extended family. Good, Bill, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that as well. Um, I love Thanksgiving as a day of gratitude. I can't think about Thanksgiving without mentioning um, that it's considered a day of mourning for Native Americans. And uh, I get it. So if you still think the Happy Pilgrim meal um, is the reason for the season, 
uh, send me a note and let's talk about it. Let's, let's have, uh, let's have a chat. Oh, someone said, what's the best way something? And I don't know. My girlfriend, Dana, did your character Nurse Joy and I cosplay Lance of the Elite Four. How fun! Olivia is a peach. Yes, love her as Ty Lee. Peach is such a good word for her with her peachy hair. Um, I, what else? Any other, what else should we cover? Do you know what the other Higurashi cast members are doing now? Are they okay? I don't know. Um, I wish I do. I think it's the Texas crowd and God, I love those people. Um, yes, I hope they're okay as well. Thanksgiving was days after my birthday. What a happy season. Sorry about the pause. Uh, how do you become a voice actor? Start with acting because voice acting is acting with less, uh, uh, tools in your toolkit. So you have to be an even better actor. Um, I recommend theater as opposed to film because you can be big in the booth and you need to. Um, uh, once you feel like, hey, I'm a good actor, I can take this on. Uh, I was just mentioning today reading books to kids and becoming all those characters is a huge help. And also, I just want to point out that D. Bradley Baker has, I think, a website called So You Want to Be a Voice Actor and uh, has way more tips than I do on how to get into the actual business, the, the show business side of things. Um, the other great thing about taking acting classes, especially if you take voice or movement for the actor, um, is that it changes your life. It, uh, uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Like you take acting classes and it's so challenging and you're so vulnerable and you're vulnerable with a group of people who will forever be in your heart. You know, you, you, you don't do it alone. And, um, I, I take the classes and see where it leads you. You just never know any plans for Christmas. Uh, I think I'm staying here in town. Uh, I would like to, everybody here in Nashville is already decorating their houses. Um, so now I suddenly want to make a wreath. Why did they go with a new Mai on Yugi? I loved your version of Mai. Thank you. Um, cause I moved, uh, we were recording in New York and I was ready for a change. I moved to LA at the time they could have recorded me in LA, but it would have been expensive. It's not like it is now. So they chose to recast. And I, I'm good. I was good with that. I knew that it was my decision and my risk and it, and it was time for me to go for a bunch of other reasons. So it was the right thing to do, but I was very sad to stop being my and Nurse Joy. Um, both characters were aptly uh, uh, taken over um, by Erica Schroeder, who's fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's my story. I, I got to do a con with Erica. We, we put together a benefit for, um, those on the front lines fighting COVID. We're a team. Uh, I just looked them up in their social media. It looks like they're do all doing just fine. Oh, thank you for filling us in. Thank you. I've been stumped for a minor in college. I think I might switch it to acting. <gasps> I love that for you. It's going to change your life. It really is. It's going to be awesome. My decision, indeed. And I found the voice of Rena's TikTok. Isn't that awesome? She's so funny. My Valentine and Nurse Joy are my favorite. Yeah, almost all four kids Yu-Gi-Oh VAs are on Instagram as well. It's true. We're all there. And um, more and more of the team is doing conventions. So look out for us. Um, it's fun when, it, it's fun for me selfishly when I get to uh, be at a convention with other cast members. Do you have a purple paint pen? I do. I do. I have a magenta one. And it, it's beautiful. Um, so my babies, it's time for me to go. Uh, this has been so cool. Um, collect any chance if you're coming to LA or I probably Cali, I'd love to meet you. You know what? Not right now, but it's ridiculous. I really want to go to California. Um, I want to do, uh, anime LA. Favorite character in Higurashi, Mion and Shion. <laughs> dar. No, I don't mean to say dar. Um. Yeah, I mean, they're they're so cool. You can't go to conventions. I'm too far away. Mm. Um, GalaxyCon does some great online ones. 
No, don't leave, Gion, please. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys are so cute. Um, can you give me a shout out as Shizune? Hi, Kari! Oh. If you ever use filters, be sure to use talons and bird wings. <laughs> yes, can you say something as Anne from Pokemon Heroes? Yes, Annie. Oh, what was her partner? Oakley. Oakley, what do you think we're doing? But whatever. Do you approve of Satoshi Hojo and Shizon Sonozaki as a couple? Why not? <laughs> I will stand you forever and ever. Mwah! I gotta go. Uh, I hope to see you all again. Please send me a message if, if I wasn't able to answer any questions or give you the shout out you wanted. Have a gorgeous day. I think I'm still here. I don't know how to leave. Maybe I'll just do that.